Welcome everyone to a brand new Minecraft tutorial. So today what we'll be doing is finding out how to find strongholds and how to find in particular the end portal in them. So first what you need to do is you need to get yourself a lot of eyes of ender. Now the minimum amount really to be safe is 12 but you really need more. And so to do that all you need is an ender pearl here and a uh, well one piece of blaze powder and here you have um, an eye of ender. Now to get ender pearls, what you need to do is, there are two ways of doing it. Now traditionally, what people do is they um, kill endermen. That's kind of long, so what I'd like to do is I like to trade. So as you can see here, we have a cleric. Uh, and if you um, do your trades well, you can get um, the cleric to sell you one ender pearl for um, one emerald. And I think I have, a, oh, I have a tutorial for that as well. Or you could just kill um, an enderman, or quite a few. Um, with looting 3, as I have on my amazing um, netherite sword, um, you can get loads of ender pearls quite easily. Um, that's the ender pearls. They aren't too bad to get, and to be honest, um, at, your at this stage in your survival world, when you're thinking of fighting the dragon, you should have some kind of villager trading system set up, or maybe a mob farm. Up to you, obviously. Um, and now for the blaze powder. So, again, all you need to do is you need to kill loads of blazes like this. And what you'd get is um, blaze rods, and you simply put these, well, I can't do this now, um, in your crafting area, and bam, you get blaze powder. So all in all, the ingredients for Isle of Ender aren't too bad, but it's not like as if they're like super easy just to farm straight away. Now, how to actually find the stronghold? Well, you need to get your Eye of Ender and throw it, and simply follow it, like so. And as you can see, um, it points in the direction where you need to go. Now, normally, the eyes of Ender, once you throw them, won't break, so you can recollect them afterwards. So as you can see here, it didn't break, but there was a chance they will break. And what you want to do is essentially, in the direction that they went, you just go this way for a long time. And what you want to be doing is, every so often, you just want to throw the eye of Ender and see, yep, is this pointing me in the right direction or the direction I'm going? Yep, oh, there you go, it broke as well. Let me continue this direction. Say for example, if I was traveling in this direction, I might want to check I'm going the right way. Oh look, it's going over there. Will it break? It won't. Very nice. And essentially what you want to be doing is you want to be going on for a fairly long time. It could be until you find it. Now obviously in preparation, I have found myself um, my stronghold, the nearest one, which is here. I have a nice netherite uh, beacon, which I actually did in survival. I'm um, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. But as you can see, say for example, I didn't know this one was here, and I kept going. I would throw the um, uh, Eye of Ender, and it would point me back to where I need to go, and then I would know that, okay, I have um, missed where the stronghold was, and let me just retrace my steps and use the Eye of Ender to um, find it. So, strongholds can be found really anywhere. They can be found um, under the ocean, which can be difficult to get to, or they can be found, like you see here, in the middle of the forest. But they are always found pretty deep on the ground. So what you want to do is just want to hop into there uh, and explore for a bit. Now, again, your my pro tip for actually finding uh, or exploring the uh, strongholds is torches, and in particular soul torches, because as you may be able to see, um, strongholds have normal torches, and you might confuse them for ones that you put yourself. So just put down torches to see. Um, where you are going, where you went, and of course if you want to go back, then you can follow the torches round. Now strongholds are known for being notoriously hard to, um, well, search through. They also have chests as well, as you can see here, they have iron doors, chests. Um, the chests are good, this one is kind of bad, um, but this one has a diamond. And that is a silverfish. Now I believe I have actually found the um, and uh, portal room in this stronghold because you don't want to be searching around the video for a while. So as you can see, I know it's not this way. I think if I go through here, oh come on, can't believe it. I literally practice traveling. Oh dear, okay, all right, fine. Um, so as you can see, I've basically um, as I've explored, I put down torches as well, 
to make sure that I'm going the right way. I haven't really retraced my steps because they can be very, very mazy. And you want to be on the lookout everywhere for any room. So maybe going down this way and seeing what's there. No dead end. I'm, am I sure? Up, down. Yep. Okay. Put down a torch here. You can even do special torch stuff to make sure that you know it's a dead end. But essentially, why I say this is because they are, like I said, notoriously annoying to explore. So, for example, here, as you can see, the end portal room is right there. But it's like, if I was just traveling here, I wouldn't have noticed it. So, like I said, make sure you explore loads and loads and loads. Um, and here we are, end portal room. And um, what I would do is I put water with this lava and break this um, very annoying. And also, I would also um, put water with this lava as well. So, last thing you want to do is when you get to the um, end portal, is um, light up your um, portal and bam, you go into the end. So yeah, that's basically all you need to know for finding a stronghold end portal room. Just my tips would be for finding the end portal room is just make sure you keep your eyes open and use um, soul torches to clearly mark where you've been. So yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed and hope to see you soon and goodbye.